Monty, 66, was once again on hand to host another edition of Gardener's World, informing viewers how they could make the most of the plants they had hoped would blossom in the summer. The presenter of the BBC show gave some advice on how fans could take care of their produce as the year moves on and the autumn, winter seasons approach. However, he detailed how he had been struggling with a problem with his clematis plants which is something he has never seen happen before. He shared how those watching at home could deal with the same problem so they wouldn't end up in the same predicament he did. The gardening expert said, Now, I've got a problem here in the cottage garden that I've never had to deal with before. And you can see where it is, he remarked as images of brown and withered leaves were seen on the screen. Monty continued, It's the clematis and it's not just this clematis, there are four along the back, this north-facing border, that have suddenly and dramatically wilted. There is a fungal disease called clematis wilt and that can be equally dramatic, the presenter explained to viewers. You can just see vague signs in the morning and by the next day, the whole plant will be reduced to darkened shed and tatters. But clematis wilt tends to affect the larked flowered varieties, the gardening expert said as he issued caution. Most of those that we lump together in group 2, which tend to flower from late May to early July, he added. Continuing to discuss the specifics of the problem he was facing, Monty explained. And also, it is most likely to hit fairly early on in the growing pattern. Sort of early June is a classic time for clematis wilt to affect. Now if you do get that, it's serious but it's not disastrous. Because you can cut him off at ground level, burn the affected plant material and it will regrow from below the soil, the presenter added. Which is why you always plant clematis deep. He continued before explaining the issue he had WASNT clematis wilt. Monty told viewers he was growing group 3 clematis and he said, What I think is we have the perfect storm here. We had a very dry April, we've then had a reasonably wet May and June, but not exceptionally so, he continued, stating the group 3 clematis were cut right back. When they put on a surge of growth and were about to flower, they flopped dramatically, Monty explained. And that is because they simply haven't been able to take up enough moisture and particularly if there's a bit of slug damage to the stems or the stems are very thin. They've got to supply moisture to a big plant, particularly when flowers are coming out and that's when there's real demand. And I've always taken it for granted that our soil has plenty of moisture, but it was just too dry, he said. Looking at a clematis which had grown successfully, he said, Whereas this one has got stronger stems and obviously just better water, it's not so dry. And that quirkiness is not at all unusual. Two plants side by side can behave very differently, Monty explained. The gardening expert got to work as he was seen cutting back the clematis plant, right to the ground as he said. Taking to Twitter, viewers commented on the clematis plant problems, with one writing, that's some serious clematis wilt. Hope it recovers hashtag Gardener's World.